Okay, so heading out from 317.9. I want to get to 328 and then reassess everything. There's going to be some climbing coming up, so uh, I'm just take it slow. Uh, I want to get to Cajon Pass tomorrow. Um, so it'll probably be sometime in the afternoon so I can uh, get a Uber or something and go home and spend the Mother's Day uh, with my wife and my daughter who's also a mother. And uh, yeah. So, here I go. Um, I met, I, and I, it's been a couple of days. But uh, her name is uh, Soul Sister. And she is just such a wonderful lady. Oh my gosh. She has, you know, everything from built her own cabin over in Missouri, moved to Oregon, and just, uh, she's a uh, cancer survivor. She has lymphedema, but has it under control with diet and exercise. And I mean, everything that I nurse, somebody in the medical field look at somebody and go like, wow, you're doing things <laughs> really good. And uh, she's highly intelligent. Uh, just a lot of people like that in here. You know, it just so happened that I I had the uh, pleasure of hiking with her. <coughs> and I found out that she's the one that gave Walkabout. <coughs> walkabout, the person that <coughs> I was hiking with before Idlewell. And him and, and John, she's the one that gave him the trail name early on. Which is, yeah, it's nice out here. Anyway, I'm going to start climbing, so i got to use trekking poles it makes it much easier all right talk to you guys later somewhere about mile 323.1 i have about five more miles to go it might make me sick closer to six uh before my uh destination of the day however it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning and uh And I might push on, it all depends on how I feel. But right now we're right next to this road, the first time we come across. I've seen it for a while, but this is the first time we've come kind of close to it. And my understanding by looking at the Gut Hooks app is that on the opposite side of this hill right here is Silverwood Lake already, but we're just, we just can't see it yet. So it's going to be interesting what I, what I come up with, but yeah, it looks like it goes right next to that road. Huh, cool. Okay, okay so it looks like it actually crosses the road. I didn't know that, so I'm going to check my gut hooks. Because here's a PCT sign and across the road is a PCT sign. So I got to check. Yep, it crosses the road and it actually goes near on a bigger road. This is just weird. Anyway, no cars that way. No cars that way. No cars that way. Okay. Cool. I think this is the first time I crossed the road since Big Bear. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can hear the bigger road down there, so we're gonna go by that one. Cool. Look at that. That's the the uh, I guess I would call the dam site of Silverwood Lake. Ooh, it's just so cool. You know, it's, it's uh, I don't know, I don't know what to say to be honest with you. Hey guys, uh, it's mile 20, 323 for something. I just finished talking with Olive Oil on the phone because she's, uh, she's also walking. Every day she walks at home, she's done up to like 10 miles, but of course, you know, very little weight and, uh, and around the neighborhood, so there's no climbing for the most part. Minor climbing, and it, just imagine that. When I had my heart issue, I couldn't even walk not even around uh, the block without stopping because so much chest pain but anyway that's beside the point now <laughs> uh but yeah she does it all the time and uh it was really funny because I, I i called her and she's like hi yes and i'm going like hi how are you doing what, what, what's up what are you doing and she's like i'm walking and i said oh i'm walking too <laughs> obviously i'm on the pct so i'm walking um but yeah it was a really really nice talking with her and so i can't wait to go home for mother's day and uh, make some uh, ribeye sticks with salad for them my daughter and my wife and uh, 
I just wanna say happy Mother's Day. It'll probably by the time you guys get this video, it'll probably be over. Um, but uh, I just wanna say happy Mother's Day for all you wonderful mothers out there, those that are hiking, those that are concerned about your loved one who's hiking, and uh, just, you know, happy Mother's Day. Without you mothers, <laughs> civilization as we know would not exist. <laughs> so, <laughs> happy Mother's Day to all you, okay? All right. So here's a PCT sign in. I like how they put that arrow. Like, that away. That's a cool, I've always liked that PCT sign. You know? And yeah, to be on it is, uh, I want to say it's an honor to be hiking this. Because there's so many people that have hiked it before me. And, uh, some that I've known and some that I watched on YouTube videos, some that I gave hitches to and just some that I'm hiking with right now. This is just a wonderful thing. I'm thankful that I can do it. Okay. Somebody went down. Anyway. Yep. There's another PC two side and yeah, this whole parking space or whatever it's called. It's part of PCT. <laughs> That's where it goes to anyway. I'm sure. It's probably private property, I'm guessing, and it's permitted to have PCT hikers come through here. That's cool. So there was kind of a fire over there, and at first it was all dark black, which normally means uh, fuel, class Bravo. And then I started seeing the white, which means to put water on it, so turn it off, which is good. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> See? Thank you, people, for pointing the signs. Yeah, now we don't have to go around trail finding. Like, uh, Mission Creek. Hmm. Anyway, and there's a sign over there. So, alright. And we're going straight, and straight, and straight, and straight, and make a left, and make a left, and make a left. <laughs> And here we go. Oh, and it looks like we're gonna go do some road walking. The first time the Pacific Crest Trail has been on a road, except for over in Campo. Uh, right uh, before mile one, or maybe a little bit after mile one. Yeah, a little bit after mile one. Um, this is the first time. Cool. All right. And. Here we are, the Cedar Springs Spillway. Ooh. Gotta get on the trail on the road walk, yay! Okay, that's the PCT. On our Hi everybody, um, so I have been off trail for a few days already. Um, I got to mile 324.4 a little after the last clip when I showed the PCT sign on the, on the uh, rail. And I came home because, first of all, I didn't know that the PCT was going to go um, on the road. And there was a couple of, like, three hitchhikers, uh, hikers that were hitchhiking. Hitchhiking? Hmm. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, when I saw that, I was talking to one of them who actually went all the way to Cajon Pass. Then he went back on a trail to 324, and then he was going to hike back to Cajon Pass again. Um, and, and I had mentioned to him that I was going to get off on, uh, at Cajon Pass and, and, um, go home because of Mother's Day and also my son's birthday and his son's birthday a few, a couple of days later, uh, my grandson. And, um, and at the when I did that, he said, I, I don't know why you just don't get, get a hitch now to Cajon Pass and then from there get an Uber or something. And so the, I thought that was a pretty good idea. So I did that, um, and also, um, if you guys have seen probably a couple of videos, I don't mention it too much, um, but my, my right heel is, uh, it does have plantar fasciitis. It, 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 I verified that it did have that, and I'm 
doing what I can to, to resolve that. I have talked to a couple of hikers, well, actually text with a couple of hikers that I've been hiking with. And they were telling me how people are, uh, because of the fire closure, they are um, <clears throat> getting a ride from either Wrightwood or Inspiration Point, which is a few miles past Wrightwood, um, out to mile 403, which I believe that's three points where the two crosses the trail again. And, and they're doing that. <clears throat> and I was talking to one of them that was aware that I did have this uh, heel pain. And, and she said, you know, that, that climb out of Cajon Pass it is very it is very steep, has a lot of rocks, and it's probably not the best thing for your um, heel. So she recommended that mm, perhaps might be a good idea um, to just get a hitch from Cajon Pass all the way to uh, to mile four hundred three. Start there, and then later on I can finish that that section, which is kind of a long section, but. Part of it is is you can't go through it anyway. So and we olive and oil olive oil and I have actually done like Baden Powell that air right over there. So it's not like we're skipping Baden Powell because we've already done it. And also part of that uh, Cajon Pass area as well. Um, on on uh, day hikes that we've uh, that we've done because as I stated before we're we're local to the area. And so I decided that that's what I would do. Um, so I did. When I crossed the road, uh, where it's the 173, where um, I last showed that clip, uh, got a ride from there, and then I came home. And I've been, I, I have gone, I got new insoles, uh, I'm not really sure how they're working. I've been doing a lot of massage to the, um, uh, to my plantar fascia and uh, a lot of stretching. And I'm hoping that this, so I'm taking off about a week. Um, and I'm hoping that this will get it ready so by the time I do go back, and my plan is to go to mile 403, uh, taking the other hiker's advice on that, and um, and then coming back, if not this year, which probably not this year, unless of course I, I, I end up short of Canada, and then it may be this year, uh, with olive oil doing from mile 324 to mile 403. Um, I'm not... How can I say it? Uh, I'm more of a purist than a non-purist. I guess that's the best way I can put it. Um, I do think that one should hike as much of the PCT as possible. But I also do know that there are times when that's not going to be possible, you know, especially when it comes to injury. Uh, there have been several hikers. Some of them have, many have just gotten off trail because of injury. And some of them have skipped sections because they they had to go to get x-rays or whatever and then when they come back they don't go back to the same place they they got off they they go down further a little bit um so i i um i want to do the whole thing i like the idea of, of doing every single step of the trail um and i don't take any and i have not up to now i have not taken any shortcuts or taking anything off any mile skipped any mile at all on the trail and that was not my intention um, and it's still not my intention because I do plan on coming back and, and doing this this section that I'm skipping however I'm my heel still hurts and I been doing some walking around the neighborhood like maybe three miles no weight no elevation and toward the end of the three miles it starts hurting again and so I'm thinking if I put that 30 pound pack on or probably even, it's going to be more than that because there's no water for for a while and it's very hot in that area over by Cajon Pass to um, Inspiration Point or, or, or Wrightwood. And so um, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna uh, do more damage to my heel and then my hike might just end. The PCT hike might just end. So it's better if I skip to 403 and from there, uh, hopefully by the time I get to Kennedy Meadows, I would have found a way to mitigate the pain um, by by taking anti-inflammatories and uh, perhaps wrapping it a little bit, taping it up, and with it with the insoles that I have, hopefully that'll that'll help. But I I really don't know. So anyway, um, this I'm gonna put this clip here into uh, the last at the end of the last um, 
and video just to give you guys an update but by the time you guys get this which should be around june second or third or fourth somewhere around there i should be ha have been back on trail and and um if, if, if I don't go back on the trail for whatever reason, or if I end up uh, after mile 403 finding that I, this this is just not not resolving, then I'll probably get off trail and then I would have made a video stating that. If you don't see that video, then um, I'm continuing on, which is what I hope to do. Okay, so this is about a seven minute talk that I've done already explaining this uh, on top of the eight minutes of the uh, regular clip. Uh, so it's about a 15 minute video already and I just want to thank everybody uh, for watching, following the, following our, uh, my journey and hopefully it'll continue. And, and, and like I said, I do want to come back but probably next year um, if I could finish the PCT probably next year um, to do the, um, the mileage that I have skipped due to this um, due to this um, plantar fasciitis that I have. Okay, thank you very much, and uh, we'll continue the journey. Thanks.